Dear students, here in this slide presentation, we can see that there's a discussion being carried out between a boy and his mother, where she's telling him not to have the slice of bread because there is the growth of the fungus, that is the bread mold or the rhizopus. He has a query that where did, how did the growth take place? And she explains to him that it is by the process of all sexual reproduction, that is by the formation of spores. So we'll discuss about the objectives related to chapter one, that is reproduction in organisms. We'll come to know about reproduction, we'll be able to understand the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction, various modes of asexual reproduction and events of sexual reproduction in this chapter. Reproduction is the biological process of formation of new offsprings from their parents. It is basically carried out by two modes, that is, asexual and sexual reproduction, wherein asexual reproduction involves the simple process of mitosis, that is, division of parent into two daughter cells without the fusion of gametes. So there's only involvement of a single parent that gives rise to clone. Whereas in case of sexual reproduction, there's fusion between the male and the female gamete, that is egg and sperm, to give rise to offsprings which are different from the parent. They have got their own genetic constitution which is different. Now, talking about the various modes of asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction includes the various kinds of fission, that is binary and multiple, budding, vegetative propagation, spore formation, fragmentation, and parthenogenesis. Talking about the first, that is fission, which is binary fission, it is observed in unicellular organisms like amoeba and paramecium, where there is karyokinesis followed by cytokinesis, leading to the formation of two daughter amoeba. Here, there is simple cell division, that is mitosis, leading to formation of clones. In case of budding, we see that there is a bud or a notch which is formed in the parent body. When that becomes mature, it gets detached from the parent and then it gives rise to the new organism observed in hydra and yeast, that is a unicellular fungi, which reproduces by budding. Vegetative propagation is the other method of asexual reproduction wherein plant reproduce through formation of vegetative propagules. The various vegetative propagules include rhino, rhizomes, suckers, tuber, offset, bulb. In case of a potato, we can see that there is there are, is the formation of eyes. They are referred to as the nodes, which is the meristematic part, which when put in soil can give rise to a new plant. Many organisms, they reproduce by the formation of spores, basically the fungi, so as to overcome the unfavorable conditions. Fragmentation is the other method of asexual reproduction, wherein the new organism is formed by the fragmentation of a mature or an adult parent, commonly found in lichens, fungi, and certain algae like spirogyra, which reproduces by the process of fragmentation leading to formation of daughter cells. Parthenogenesis is the process in which unfertilized egg develops into new individual. There is no mating between the male and the female gametes. It is observed in some insects, fishes, frogs and lizard, also in whiptail lizard. Hopefully, you must have garnered the concepts related to asexual reproduction.